Sagittarius, hello and welcome to your mid-month reading. This video is for anybody that happened to click on it, but I am talking to those that do have strong placements. So if you're Sun, Moon, Rising, Midheaven, Venus, potentially your Mars is in Sagittarius, then this video is definitely for you. How has June been for you guys? Definitely converse with me in the comment section below. I want to know how the energies that I intuitively um, picked up for the overly thematic reading are matching up with what's been happening or what you feel is about to happen. And if you haven't watched that video yet, I will leave a link somewhere up here for you to click on. Um, let's get into your mid-month reading. As far as energies that you can be expecting, what came out for you was the Four of Wands, followed by the Six of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, in the Obstacles position, you have the Two of Pentacles, with the Queen of Wands and the Hermit card. Coming into the last week of June and ways to overcome these obstacles, you have the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. And out of my own curiosity, you know, because I'm nosy, I peeped at the bottom of the deck and the bottom of the deck definitely wanted to be peeped. And all I have to say is you guys are not going to let a damn thing get in the way of the things that you want, including yourself, honey. There are some people that have a divine counterpart that is coming in or coming back, but coming strong. You know what I'm saying? That might be you. You're finally taking the lead, taking the initiative, you know, putting your best foot forward and going after the person that you want, man, female, not wanting to um, identify just however this resonates. Child, you guys are on your way. Um, <laughs> but as far as the mid-month itself, I, I'm hearing connect the dots. So connections are heavy this month, right? Not just romantically, but as far as the way that your life has been playing out I feel like to some degree you guys are needing to focus on what's going right more than what is going wrong right and the the central issue around this is you having a certain expectation for the way that you wanted your life to go right the way that you wanted certain connections to come together and they haven't don't focus on why it didn't work out the way that you thought it would, but that just the simple fact that it's working out, right? And it's working in your favor. Um, this Eight of Swords card, you're doing this to yourself. It's your own mental prison and your higher self is highly annoyed. If you can peep him in the background, he's like, my G, like, turn around. You can get yourself out of it. Literally, turn around. Turn your thoughts off, you know, um, because things are still working for your greater good there are so many opportunities that are coming your way i feel like you guys are being presented with probably like speaking engagements i just feel like you guys are the center of attention or you're getting a lot of attention or will be getting a lot of attention um, in your work or just socially and you have a lot going on revel in that goodness because i know for a lot of people things have not been good for a long time you may be starting to get in your mind like damn things are going so well like i know that with the peak comes the valley you know what i'm saying and you're just trying to pray for the days to remain as good as they are like don't get in your way in that way i feel like some of you guys may also be questioning the foundations that you're building with people or somebody that you want to build a foundation with it's like it's unlike anything that you have ever known right and so that causes you to feel anxious there's no reason to if things have not um, yet gained traction or picked up speed they will by the end of the month first of all with this page of swords it's very swift energy um, but 
it may be due to the fact that whoever's watching this you need to be the one to take the lead in getting things off of the ground right and things picking up speed and building that foundation to be even stronger um, building that connection um, putting your head down and building on your business idea right especially if you're an entrepreneur you need to take more of the lead other people are waiting on you to do that I'm getting that with the four of wands or you may have been waiting like somebody needs to take the first step because you may have been waiting for somebody else to do that but they apparently aren't going to do that because they're waiting on you type of thing and you're in your head thinking that it's never going to go anywhere but it is is just if you know that that is the point of contention or that's the point of you guys being at a standstill then you just need to go ahead and step out and take that chance you know let go of the ego you have nothing to fear in putting yourself out there right don't be a pussy I don't know any fire sign to be this scared like don't be a little pussy cat okay as far as your obstacles though um, I feel like some of you guys are doing too much and this goes back to me picking up on the connect the dots energy right you feel like you have to do more you have to create more you have to research more you have to learn more read more just however this pertains to um, knowledge and gaining more insight on the things that you're passionate about creating um, you need to be confident in yourself and the fact that you know all that you need to know, especially with this hermit card that also came up in the obstacles position and just integrate the knowledge that you have within you, the wisdom that you've accumulated over the, the years of your life, right? And all the experiences that you've had, it's more of coming into an integration of these things than trying to expand even more on them. For some of you, this Two of Pentacles talks about um, not wanting to take a risk, but scared money can't make money, right? You need to spend money to make more money on a business sense. Um, you need to take a risk and step out of your comfort zone because this Queen of Wands, she look mighty comfortable. You need to step, step out of your comfort zone and do something that you haven't done before to get a different result because insanity is doing the same thing over and over expecting something different and nothing is changing or will change that is a trend right connect that dot that is a pattern that is a universal truth right and I know Sagittarians are all about seeking seeking the truth so as that could pertain to a romantic relationship you can't keep doing the same thing um, existing in the same modality having the same thought patterns about the dynamic of the relationship I'm getting that with this two of Pentacles and how it should work um, how much effort you're trying to put in and waiting to see um, if you're gonna get anything back go all out go full speed by the end of this month right get over yourself by the end of June you will need to get over yourself get over your expectations get over trying to be manipulative trying to play the aloof or cold detached oh I don't have feelings mode right get out of um, trying to distract yourself with other things that you feel are more important than a romantic relationship if that's what you know you really desire and go full speed ahead you know what I'm saying this could also be a card of um, working too much being too independent or um, needing to take a hard look at your finances and make changes where necessary you need to cut back on spending if you spend a lot of food a lot of food but yeah essentially if you spend a lot of money on food when you know that you can meal prep at home you can make shortcuts you can do something else with that money then do that put it into a savings account spend that money on taking a vacation that can expand your horizons and um, give you more experience for you to integrate into your life that way right utilizing this hermit energy if you spend too much um, just time because the Pentacles can also talk about just time effort and energy into your work then cut back you don't have to work 80 hours a week it's not gonna push you any further in the direction of your purpose any faster 
right everything that is yours is coming to you in its divine timing so you can work 80 hours a week 120 hours a week if you want to but you're not doing anything but tiring out your vessel and your body so you're not able to rest in your laurels and really enjoy um, the fruits of your labor because you're going to be just too physically exhausted or mentally exhausted right work 40 hours a week work smarter not harder that's what i'm getting with this work smarter not harder coming into the end of june help yourself and you know how to help yourself you know what you have to do to put your mind at ease and i'm getting that with this page of swords okay you know what you need to cut out to put your mind at ease you know what you need to change to put your mind at ease do be careful though um, in communication with other people especially if they don't necessarily understand you or the way that you think because um, Sagittarians have more of an abstract thought process you guys are uh, pretty philosophical people and not everybody can understand or relate to the way that you see things or view things just don't get frustrated and um, become intolerant of the fact that other people think differently than you don't cause unnecessary arguments uh, because this can be a card of like harsh words spoken right the west wind is a very strong wind that's who this character is in greek mythology and so it can be very harsh um, with this queen of swords you can be the type of person who at times may come across as having such high expectations of yourself um, and other people that you are always disappointed when they can't live up to your unrealistic expectations. So work on that potentially. That might be a part of your character that you, you do work on by the end of June that may have been causing maybe little tiffs, arguments, within yourself and or in your external environment with other people but that's what i'm getting um other than that you guys are well on your way to the thing that you so desire i mean you know as this resonates for you it's different for everybody just take the energies that i'm picking up and apply it to your situation but you guys have definitely found your tribe for the most part, you are supported and you have a lot of good things coming your way, a lot of creativity. You are being inspired by those that are around you. Um, just continue to look at the good that is happening and stop focusing so much on the bad, which really isn't bad. It's just it's manifesting um, a lot differently than you thought it would. Everything that is happening in your life, right? Just continue to have confidence um, foresight right continue to maintain a high vibrational frequency so that you can remain like mentally strong so that you can remain creative right so that you are able to pour that out into your life in all areas right romantically as far as being able to be more romantic being able to be more adventurous um, as far as your own intellect as far as being able to expand your own consciousness and in integrating the knowledge that you have being able to go a little deeper and um, go a little further with your own theories hypotheses that you think up right and being able to um, figure out different ways to converse with other people to where you can kind of meet them at their level and still have a fulfilling conversation being creative in that aspect as well um, in your own business as far as the design of your business um, the approach that you take with your business as far as chakras go root chakra sacral chakra third eye throat chakra I'm seeing all of those so make sure that those are balanced that none are overactive especially the throat chakra you can cause damage um, and 
if you don't know how to do that I will leave a link in the description box below for you to click on but at this time if this resonated for you definitely give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family and do subscribe for more I will talk to you guys in July